things first, I need to remove everything on the bike that cannot get wet. First thing you're gonna need is a five mil Allen wrench. Okay, this is awkward. I'm having trouble. Wait, righty tidy lefty loosey, right? <laughs> Come on, Jer. Get it together. And such a dropper. Oh my God, always dropping everything. Now I had to remove those bolts in order to remove the leg cradle upholstery, which the manufacturer recently updated. The Velcro now goes along the sides instead of straps that go underneath. Now I'm always hitting rocks and things like that and those straps were getting shredded. This is a lot better. Oh, beer. Mm. Once I get the leg cradle padding off, you can see there's just tons of debris in there. So I turn it inside out and just hit it on my wheel. You can throw these in the laundry. I've done it before. If they're really dirty, I'll do that. You can also take a wet rag and kind of open up the seams and wipe in the seams and get them really, really pretty if you have a bike date with another boy or something. Next is to grab the key and unlock your battery so you can remove it. I leave my GoPro case on my bike. It's just a lot easier taking the camera in and out of the case with the back door than removing it every time. So when I wash my bike, I need to remove it using this tool and it's an aluminum case. So I have to unscrew it all the way. Oh yeah, always a dropper. Where's that bolt? There it is. Let's go ahead and put this here so we don't lose it. One super important thing is to drill a hole in the leg cradle so that water can drain. Okay, she's all ready. Let's get started. 